Now, um, use the leaves of the melaleuca tree or the tea tree essential oil that have been used by Aborigines in Australia for centuries. Um, they would essentially crush the leaves and inhale um, to promote feelings of clear breathing and apply them directly to the skin for a cooling effect and for skin um, things. Uh, the Bungawalbin Creek in Australia is surrounded by all these Australian tea trees and it's held sacred by their Aborigines as these sticky tea trees leaves fell into the creek they created waters that the natives consider, consider magical healing waters and these, these, these dark waters that they would contain magical properties. I love this story about uh, the bubonic plague and some of the uh, accounts of this story ver um, vary from version to, to version, but the, the story basically goes thusly. Um, there are some robbers who, during the bubonic plague, um, during, uh, this took place in the between the 15th and 18th uh, century, um, they would rob the sick and the dead during this time. These robbers were wearing a unique blend of botanicals, essential oils essentially, uh, that would protect them from the plague um, while they were doing their robbing work. The legend says that once French authorities caught up to the robbers and captured them, the French authorities had recognized the value of such a protective blend of essential oils that the robbers um, chose to divulge their secret uh, blend to the king in exchange for a more lenient sentence. The exact formula varies between the different accounts, but it seems always to include something in, along the lines of clove, rosemary, cinnamon, some citrus oil. This blend is used today. I use it in my house for its protecting um, abilities. Um, love the protective blend, and I think it you know, can protect us in, in many ways. Now, just because ancient civilizations used something, it doesn't mean that that was the right or correct. In fact, there are many ancient practices that we clearly see as backward and unintelligent today. The form of essential oils used by ancient civilizations was, was not as concentrated as what we use today and usually was used along with some of the herb. However, modern biochemistry, we are able to combine the advanced chemical knowledge today with simple natural applications that are naturally discovered in many of these ancient societies. Attempts have been made in the past to extract maybe one of these um, molecules without the full package. An example of this is the synthetic production of compounds in nature, um, such as wintergreen. Um, this attempt to replace nature, however, is inferior because it lacks the big picture, all the rest of the puzzles. Think about how much um, we didn't know about the big picture of breastfeeding. That's a good example. Modern essential oil production is the marriage between science and nature. Rather than replacing nature, we are now learning from it, harvesting it rather than replicating or changing it. The pendulum of knowledge has already begun to swing, and soon, you'll see, essential oils and other natural solutions will become commonly used in every house. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.